Hello everybody, welcome to Raising Vibrations and you're with Simon today and we're going to be doing a chart of the day and I'm super excited to be sharing with you uh, my feelings regarding this chart because this is a very very profound time for us to experience a physical and chemical change within our bodies that will actually lead to a relationship to spirit that is not defined based on an idea of belief but an actual chemical reaction that is available to all of us right now during this period of time but it's not an easy experience <laughs> so this is chart of the day for the 3rd of july 2018 and um, that picture that's moving in the left hand corner over there or right hand corner is definitely the essence of this energy right now okay you can see we've got the the sun that's sitting at 11 degrees uh, cancer and the sun is trining Jupiter at 13 degrees as Scorpio. It's making a trine to the moon in, in Pisces. It's making a trine to Neptune. And then, of course, we've got Jupiter and Neptune and the moon all making a trine as well. So we've got water trinity available to us right now, which is amazing. This is the essence of um, evolving through what is called the emotional body. And this process of evolving through the emotional body is the way that the soul actually experiences its evolution okay and you will notice that these types of patterns will generally occur in astrology charts when um, you have a lot of what is called completion cycles okay and so when you look at a completion cycle in an astrology chart um, in ea this is defined as balsamic phase we are dealing with uh, an evolutionary phase or an evolutionary cycle that is coming to an end and so the context of essence the context of essence right the stuff that uh, transcends the physical form and allows us to uh, imprint awareness so when we have an awareness of something it is through an experience also known as the emotional body that we then develop this insight we develop this relationship to spirit so with this beautiful um, water trine that is, you know, displaying itself right now at this point in time, we all have this profound capacity to have a biochemical reaction taking place with inside of us, within the body's DNA, that allows us to uh, have a relationship to spirit occur for us. And so we've got this for um, some time. We've got it for the week. And the way that it's going to come about might not necessarily be all beautiful rainbows and um, bunnies roaming around on a, uh, a hillside where there's colorful apples and a little bit of um, sort of, uh, you know, pink tainted sky. <laughs> it's, it's not necessarily going to come through that way, right? You get my picture here. The essence of what will be available to us is through being provoked in the experience of emotion, okay? We have to have the emotion provoked in us. The, the emotion must be triggered within us. And it is this biochemical change that allows us to see something at a deeper level. All right. It is the human spirit. This is how it occurs. So something is going to confront us. Something is going to challenge us. Something is going to interact with us that is going to influence and impact the way that we, that we do interact with this. And the context of the story has a lot to do with the nature of where the nodes are at the moment okay the south node sits in aquarius the north nodes in leo and as we know mars is retrograde at the moment right so how is this going for you how are you experiencing your mars retrograde everybody you know um, for me write in the comments below like share with me what is your story for me what's happening is that that mars and that south node is literally on my ascendant like literally so I'm experiencing, and it's also squaring my Pluto, and it's squaring my Mercury, and it's squaring my Saturn, and I'm dealing a lot with um, subconscious memories in which there's been a tremendous amount of abandonment and rejection, and everything around me is, is stimulating that, that feeling of like um, when, when I was younger, and I internalized that abandonment, I internalized that rejection, right, Aquarius, isolation, squaring the Pluto, there, that abandonment, that fear of loss that naturally arises for me. So I'm processing this out of my body. I'm processing this, this need to feel empowered 
through the recognition of these trauma states, right? And that's all what the North Node in Leo is all about, and Mercury and Venus. It's it's encouraging us to to re reestablish a connection to something that's deeper within inside of ourselves that is not influenced by belief, an idea of this is my cosmology. It's about the reality of your own life that touches you beyond the essence of something that is again defined by the mind, right? So emotion, what is emoting itself through you? What is moving through you? What is providing you with a context of cosmic um, uh, awareness? What is the spirit that is wanting to arise within you? So write in the comments below what your stories are. I'd love to read them. And, and you know, um, I've, I've witnessed it many, many times when people have written their own stories, other people read it and they find something of value there. So, you know, you're, you're, you're able to contribute to the value of this, this um, energy that's being grounded over here as well. Okay, so again, coming back to this energy around the essence, around the spirit, you know, the sun being in cancer right now, it's also a very, very influential in relationship to what Taurus is treating us with Uranus over there, okay? As you can see, Uranus is currently squaring the south node and the north node. It's squaring Mercury. It's squaring Mars. And I was um, looking at another astrologer uh, yesterday, and they had wrote, they had written something on Mars retrograde. And I was really, really, I, I really liked it to be honest. Where he talked about how Mars retrograde sometimes doesn't know what to do with itself, and so we have a lot of this energy that kind of builds up with inside of ourselves. But when it's retrograde, we tend to not know where to place it, and so it comes out in a very distorted way or it comes out in anger, or it comes out in frustration. So if you are experiencing right now frustration or anger or being blocked, you know, you really, 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 really have to um, allow yourself to breathe into the experience, like really, really breathe into the experience, because it can be super, super damaging to your nervous system if that energy just kind of gets stays bottled up and then it comes out in a way that overheats your electrical system and we're dealing with mercury and uranus over here so we can deeply deeply see that this energy is connected to the way that the electrical system works in the body all right and i'm not going to go too deep into that over there but the essence of the electrical system is like how do i put this across like activated right now and we all know that the electrical system has a strong association with the way that we connect with something that's deeper within us that is part of this electric universe. It is the way that we interact with the spirit. So the messages that we receive with the North Node and Mercury over there are here for us to be healed. And the messages will come through other experiences. And it's very easy for us right now to feel as if it's personally happening to us. And I think that's where a lot of the Mars retrograde energy can come out in, in ways that might not be favorable for your work at this stage. So you know, taking a breather, taking it slow. I know that when I was busy creating the content for this whole entire video, um, I kept on reminding myself to take it a little bit slower, to to think the, the process through a little bit, and to really provide something that is not only valuable to whoever's listening to this, mm -hmm. but also my ability to feel as if I'm grounded in my own electrical system as the awareness, as the insight um, arises with inside of myself and that, that desire to want to share it. Okay. All right, peeps. So I hope that you got something um, out of this conversation today and um, that, you know, for the, for the rest of the week, allow yourself to see the spirit arise within you through being provoked, through the experience of um, things that will occur to you that will provide you with awareness for a deeper meaning of your own personal story. Okay. Awesome. So I want to let everybody know as well. I haven't had the time to actually share this yet. But um, currently at the moment, currently at the moment on my Patreon page, okay, I have posted a PDF, all right? And this PDF is a, it's called the Saturn series and it's upgrading your Saturn consciousness. Now, I've taken some time to create this uh, PDF and it consists of three videos, which at some point I'll upgrade um, the fourth one. And these three videos is an hour long um, video teaching on the way that Saturn develops the ego in your soul. In other words, how does, the, how does your specific soul 
develop its ego in order for it to understand the context of its journey. And so I go through the different phases in which that development um, happens, and then you can go and apply it to your own chart as well if you want to. And then there is another um, hour-long uh, video description or video uh, teaching that talks about the way that Saturn works in the chart, and it's called the path of individuation as well. And it deals with all the different ways that you can begin to develop and cultivate a relationship to Saturn in your chart so that not only is your work of grounding a lot more clearer, but you actually are able to like not just mess around in the darkness going, what does my Saturn mean? So this video aims to really, really create strong pinpointed understanding of your Saturn in your chart so that when you're looking at it, you can really, really access the depth that is available over there. And then there is a MP3 that is also a part of it. I think it's about 35 to 45 minutes that it talks about the nature of the Saturn return. So if you're going through the Saturn return, you've been through your Saturn return, you're about to go through your Saturn return, that, that MP3 really helps you understand the context of what is about to occur for you, what happened to you during that period of time, or what is currently going for you right now. And um, eventually at some point, because you will have access to this PDF, I'll update it and I'll have Saturn through the houses for everybody as well. So that is available on my Patreon page. It is part of my community. That is where I'm putting all of this work at this point in time. So if that's something that you find valuable or think you find valuable, you can go over to my page um, and the description and the comments will have a link to where that is. Okay. And all you have to do is literally just go onto the post You'll see you can sort of uh, share what value you think it's it's worth over there. And if you have any problems, just please let me know and I'll, I'll help you out with that, okay? All right, my friends, thank you so much for letting me share this space with you. I appreciate your attention uh, tenfold. And um, we will be talking to you soon with another video, okay? Have a wonderful week, guys. Take care. Bye-bye.